250 innocent Israeli today. There's been an alarming uptick in anti-Semitic incidents following the current Israel-Gaza conflict that started on October 7th. From chants that say gas the Jews outside the Sydney Opera House, to multiple reported bomb threats against synagogues in Chicago and Utah, and many Jewish communities around the world are feeling the impacts. My community in Toronto is gutted. We have had three people arrested for threatening Jewish teenage students outside of their high school, and I know that things are really heating up. In New York, LA, I just keep hearing more and more. Yoni Collins is an Israeli-Canadian filmmaker based in Toronto. He said he's witnessed previous stages of the Israel-Palestine conflict in person. This was the most horrific thing I've ever seen. It's been really, really tough mentally and physically. Just glued to the news for updates and just checking on people there to see if they're okay. I have a lot of friends who have lost people. At least 10 to 15 people I know have already lost people from either the fighting or the music festival massacre. And we're all being there for each other and really trying to take care of each other as a community. Shai Lerner is the director of Israeli Affair at the Anti-Defamation League, an organization dedicated to fighting anti-Semitism and extremism. This attack last Saturday was the worst attack on the Jewish community since the Holocaust. It impacts pretty much every Jew around the world and every Jewish community around the world. Anytime there's a, a conflict between Israel and Hamas, it spills over into anti-Semitism across Europe, the United States, and elsewhere. And anytime there are incidents like that, it makes Jews live in fear. We have seen in London, for example, that a Jewish store was vandalized. In Berlin, we saw Jewish apartments that were painted with Stars of David, which is sort of reminiscent of the Nazi period in the 1930s. Jewish institutions and individuals Individuals are targeted because uh, they are sort of seen as stand-ins for Israel. That is just flat out wrong. It, many, many, many Israelis have been critical over the last 40 weeks in Israel of the policies of, the, of their own government. There have been mass protests um, across the country protesting the judicial reforms um, by patriotic Israelis who love their country. That's a prime example of Israelis um, let alone American Jews and others who are critical of the policies of the Israeli government but still love and care deeply about Israel. You have every right to criticize the policies uh, and the actions of the Israeli government, but when you hold Jews accountable um, for those actions, that is a form of anti-Semitism. This is very uncertain time for the Jewish people. Reach out to your Jewish friends. Everyone knows someone going through something right now, every single one of us. We feel very, very alone in this fight and we really need the support.